So you're just starting with uh, one glue resistance, just reaching across from the large arm strap. Keeping two hands into the large arm strap, keeping the elbows straight, pelvis engaged up towards us, and then we're rotating from our hip up towards the ceiling, and then slowly back down. And then you're breathing out through the mouth as you rotate up towards the ceiling, and then breathing in through the nose as you come back down. Exercise then. So I'm just going to bring down the bar and that's it. And we're just going to leave our red resistance on. Just taking off the blue resistance and then we're just going to be standing onto the timber part, two feet onto the timber part, standing up, starting off. Bring your left foot onto the carriage, right foot is up, right heel is up off the timber part, and then from here we're pushing the carriage forward, bending through the back knee and the front knee, and then we're straightening through the knees, bring the carriage back in. And then you're making sure that you're engaging the pelvis towards you as you're lowering the body towards the floor and then back up towards the seal. So just work in the front of the quads and the glute muscles. And then next exercise, you're pushing the carriage out, keeping the carriage out there, and we're just going to be bending through the knees, lowering the body towards the floor, and then straightening through the knees, coming back up towards the ceiling. So you're trying to resist the movement of the carriage towards the springs. Just engaging the glutes and the quad muscles a bit more. I'm just going to do two more in that position. And then we just bring the carriage back in, just stepping back onto the timber part, and then we're going to bring our right foot onto the carriage, just bending both knees, pelvis engaged towards you, and then from here we're just going to be straightening the right knee out, and then bending the right knee, bringing the carriage back in. So you're slowly bending that knee, bring the carriage back in, trying to resist the movement of the carriage, and you're breathing out with the movement. And then we're just going to be facing towards the timber part, so standing at two feet onto the timber part. Bring your right foot back onto the carriage, to the front of the carriage. Heel is up off the carriage, pushing the carriage back. As we do so, we're bending through the knee, lower the body towards the floor, and then straighten through the knees back up towards the ceiling. So moving the carriage back, bending through both knees, and then straightening through the knees as we come back up towards the ceiling. Just go for two more in that position. And then the next exercise, we're going to be bending through both knees, holding that position, and then we're going to be straightening the right knee back, and then bending that right knee, bringing the carriage forward. So there's no movement in the upper body, movement is just going to be coming through the legs. Then you can start to bring in the arms. So just interchange between the arms and the right leg. As you move the carriage back, keeping your balance through that left leg. And the movement is just going to be coming through the arms and the leg. In the next exercise, we're coming on to plank exercise. So you're just going to be putting on a blue resistance, taking off our red resistance. You're going to be kneeling onto the carriage. Two feet around to the timber part, one hand either side of the center of the carriage, lifting the knees up off the carriage, pelvis engaged towards the ribcage, then we're straightening the knees out, keeping the carriage there, and we're just going to be moving through our shoulders. So moving the carriage away through the shoulders, and then bring the carriage back in through the shoulders. So keeping the spine nice and straight, pelvis is engaged towards the ribcage, and then we're breathing out with the movement as we move the carriage, so out through the mouth and then in through the nose. And then keeping that plank position, we're just going to be bending through the knees this time, bringing the carriage back in, and then straightening through the knees, moving the carriage away. So once again, pelvis engaged towards you, and there's no movement in the spine, the movement is just going to be coming through the knees. And then the next exercise, you're kneeling onto the carriage, onto the forearms, two feet are onto the timber part, lifting the knees up off the carriage, then we're moving the carriage out, keep the spine nice and straight, pelvis engaged towards us, and then we're moving the carriage away through the shoulders, and then bring the carriage back in through the shoulders. So there's no movement in the legs, no movement in the spine, the movement is just going to be coming through the shoulders, and making sure that the shoulder blades are engaged. And then holding that position, and this time we're going to be moving through the knees. So we're just going to be bending through the knees, and then straightening through the knees. And we're just breathing.
reading up at the moment. And then for the next exercise, we're just going to be facing the carriage. So bringing the bar all the way up, all the way up to the top, making sure the bar is in the folder. Then we're going to be standing onto the carriage. Two feet are towards the center of the carriage starting off. One hand either side of the bar, eye level is over the bar. And then from here we're just going to be rolling onto the toes, off the heels as we move the carriage back. Keeping the spine in line with the pelvis. And then we're bringing the carriage back in, bring the heels back onto the carriage. Carriage all the way up towards the bar. And then we're moving the carriage away, onto the toes, off the heels. Keeping the spine nice and straight. So you're getting that stretch in the hamstrings as you bring the carriage forward. And then you're working your abdominal muscles as you move the carriage away. And then you're just going to be breathing out with the movement as you go back. And then breathing into your nose as you bring the carriage forward. And then we're moving the carriage away. So the next exercise, keeping both knees straight. And this time we're going to be bending through the knees. So keeping the eye level over the bar. Bending the knees, bring the carriage forward. And then straightening the knees, moving the carriage away. So this time the movement is just going to be coming through the legs. Keeping the spine nice and straight, and just bending through the knees, and then straightening through the knees. And then there's no movement in the upper body, movement just coming through the legs. And then progressing from that exercise, two feet are on into the shoulder pads, two hands onto the, the bar, lifting the knees up off the carriage, and then we're just going to be straightening through the knees, and then bending through the knees. So once again, no movement in the upper body. Movement is just going to be coming through the knees. Just going to be working the legs a bit more with this exercise. towards the floor, pelvis engaged up towards us, shoulders are slightly bent down towards the floor and then from here we're going to be straightening your left knee back and then bending the left knee, bring the carriage forward. So there's no movement in the right leg, no movement in the spine, movement is just going to be coming through that left leg. So you're just going to be trying to work the glute muscles on the left hand side and then your quad muscles on your right leg and you're just breathing out with the movement. Progress that exercise, you can just bend the hips a bit lower and then you're straightening that left knee out and then bending the left knee, bring the carriage forward. So it's going to engage the glutes a bit more in that right leg. We're just going to be breathing out with the movement. Okay. 